This is Jameson with Cooper Fleet Services. Today is May 28th, 2021, and this is Recent Automotive News. Ford announced that the base model of their new all-electric truck will be called the Pro model. They're planning on targeting commercial customers and businesses with a pitch that includes 40% less maintenance cost over the first eight years of ownership, and a very competitive price tag they're advertising as under 40,000 before shipping. With shipping, I'm expecting this base model vehicle to be around the $42,000 mark. On a quick side note, I don't like this advertising as I think it's very misleading because you cannot purchase the vehicle without paying the shipping price from the factory. And this fee has gotten up to almost $2,000 in the recent years. I remember when I first started, it was around 1,000 10 years ago. This practice just muddies the water and is meant to confuse and mislead consumers. Also, going out eight years on the price comparison of maintenance would not be relevant for most businesses that replace their vehicles on an average of every three to six years. I'm very interested to see how Ford's Lightning Pro model will be adopted into the commercial and fleet vehicle world. I see a lot of upside in the ability to run power tools and electronics remotely, but I'm very skeptical on how electric vehicles will perform when loaded down or towing. Ford CEO Jim Farley rolled out plans this week to develop two all-new electric vehicle platforms. One will be used for the second generation of Lightning pickups and larger SUVs, while the other is planned for cars and crossovers. Ford plans on having 12 models use these two platforms and hopes this will decrease the complexity of production and also bring down parts cost as they will have the same exact parts like batteries and motors used between multiple models. Auto sales are up again this month. Most experts agree that the number will be over 16 million vehicles sold in the US in May. As sales again far outpace production, the inventory problem at dealerships is getting to desperate levels. With current trends, the inventory levels will be greatly affecting the ability to reach sales goals over the next several months. Auto Forecast Solution reports that GM has dropped vehicle output to the tune of over 278,000 vehicles this year. This is a result of the microchip shortage, COVID, and supply chain management issues. GM and other companies are using a strategy they call build shy, which means they produce vehicles as far as they can without the parts that they're missing, park them somewhere, and wait for parts to arrive. GM has parked several thousand vehicles, and now it's even using a bedrock quarry in Troy, Missouri to store vehicles to await microchips. I foresee major issues with this strategy at the dealerships. We call this lot rot, and it's when a vehicle sits idle too long and begins to develop issues. Some of these issues are pain issues from bird droppings, dust, and sun. Also, rodents of all kinds love making nests in the engine compartment insulation and wiring. The federal government is stepping in to try to help with $52 billion in funding for the next five years. This money is marked for domestic chip production and research and is expected to add seven to 10 new chip factories in the US. GM teams up with Lockheed Martin to develop a new moon buggy for NASA. GM was involved in the development of the chassis and tires of the original lunar rover that was used in Apollo 15 through 18. The old rover did not travel more than five miles from the landing site, and the new rover will be capable of traveling much further and faster. That's it for automotive news this week. If you like content like this, feel free to subscribe or comment down below. A thumbs up always really helps as well. Thanks for checking us out. If you want to check out more like this, go to our website at www.cooperfleetservices.com. I hope you all have a great weekend and stay safe.